hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this glitchy logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can download it later and practice it along with them and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation width. I'm going to choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is 15 seconds and background color is black and simply hit OK. Then choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then press Ctrl I on your keyboard to import your logo. I have this logo file over here. I'm going to select this logo and I'll simply hit import and i'll bring this logo in my main animation comp press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate sides the way you want like this now select this logo press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we will call it as logo and check out this move all attributes into the new composition and hit ok and we will hide this one more for now now press ctrl y to create a solid background layer i'll call it as fractal and hit ok like this now go to the effect and preachers panel and search for fractal noise effect on it and simply click on it in the basic as you can see we are getting so much options over here I'll, let's choose swelly and instead of soft i'll choose block and increase this contrast and decrease this let's increase this brightness also and complexity if you want then you can choose whatever complexity i'll choose two let's increase only to decrease the contrast and increase the bar brightness little bit and we'll go to the transform we will unlink this uniform scaling and we will increase the scale width and we will decrease the scale height like this yep and we will create one keyframe on the evolution tab hit u go to around four seconds and let's increase it like this so we'll get this kind of thing now we will select this fractal noise we will click on the thing called offset turbulence and create one keyframe over here hit u go to the four second and let's move this over here like this yeah so we will get this animation also now select this fractal noise press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as this placement layer and hit ok and let's hide this now enable this logo select this double click on it go to around one frames or let's go to around 15 frames zoom in a little bit yeah i'll go over here now what i'll do i'll create one rectangle i don't want any strokes only thing i want is fill and let's select this fill and create one shape like this now select this logo press f4 go to the presets panel and search for alpha mat like this if you are not getting this option simply press f4 so toggle between them like this now select this logo go to the 15 frames press p for position create one keyframe and go to around two second create another keyframe go to the 15 frames now and let's move this over here like this so if you see we are getting something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this over here right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then only you are getting this graph like this yeah and if you think this animation is quite fast you can simply move these keyframes a little bit forward like this let's go to the main animation or let's go to the displacement layer hit u select these four keyframes and let's move this to six like this now select this logo and go to the effect and presets so panel and search for time displacement effect on it as you can see we are getting some glitches over here uh, because in time displacement layer the layer we have selected is logo but if we select this displacement too then as you can see we are getting this kind of animation 
sorry now our animation is almost ready now let's go over here go inside this logo select this keyframe and move this forward so we cannot see this and let's move this keyframe over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as logo animation and hit ok now hit ctrl d few times like this select this fifth layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect double click to apply and choose red color select this fourth one apply fill color choose green color select this third one apply with this fill choose blue color select the second one go to the effect and presets panel and search or find edge effect double click like this let's enable this option as you can see we are getting something like this so invert it so we will get something like this so if we see we are getting this kind of animation now we will go to five frames we will move this layer over here with the help of open bracket select this one move this over here select this one move this over here select this one and move this over here like this now we will select this last three layers press f4 and in blending mode i am going to choose screen so let's see and press ctrl y to create a solid background layer and bring this over here and choose full resolution so let's see what we can get now go let's choose half resolution so we can see properly what we are getting we are getting something like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c to become let's call it as final animation and hit ok press f4 and click on this option hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s unlink this let's make this minus 100 then press p for position and let's bring this over here choose the rectangle tool and create one shape like that go to the mask and decrease these feathers press t for opacity and decrease the opacity so if you see we are getting something like this so this is how you can create a glitchy logo reveal press n right click new and create one null object select both the layers and make it apparent with this null one select this null one go to the start press s create one keyframe and go to the final frame and let's make this 110 so with the help of that you can create this kind of animation and because of this null object you will get a little bit scaling animation of that logo also and if you want then you can select this background you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for ramp effect and instead of white you can choose gray color like this and you can sorry you can move this coordinate one over here and one over here now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect double click to apply increase the glow radius also increase the glow threshold and glow intensity let's choose 0.4 and let's see we are getting something like this so yep this is how you can create glitchy logo reveal that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.